knife do. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy is back with a fresh batch of dope. Night dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Do not worry, my loyal, loyal viewers out there, for we will not be looking at a send cut. A little bit of a uh, bait and switch. But before we dive into that, let's take a look one more time at this wonderful USA made knife. Uh, this, of course, is the Microtech MSI. Stands for Microtech Standard Issue. Now, this is a special one. Did a video on this. This is actually uh, sent to me by the infamous Tommy motherfucking Mac. And, of course, it is rocking these wonderful Original Goat Scales. I um, did not think I would like this knife, but um, it's going to be hard for me to send it back to him. Because I've grown attached to it. So much so that I actually might do a build similar to this. But let me run this by y'all. I'm thinking chopped, a chopped version of this, you know? I think that would be uh, would be fantastic because it is just a little bit bigger than, actually, you know, about an inch and a half, I'd say bigger than I like to carry. But um, I think uh, 7.5 inches overall, get a nice, jo nice chop job done by uh, Mr. Blade Chops, otherwise known as David. I'm thinking uh, that might be a possibility. Now, as good as that is, that ain't what we're here to talk about, people. Not at all. Got one that was sent to me by one of my uh, one of my homies, Mr. Dave, otherwise known as the Hammer. And um, without further ado, let's get to the dope. Now, Dave uh, decided to send this knife in the send cut pouch, uh, but I don't know why the hell he did that. But we spoke about it briefly. But it is this beauty right here, which is the Benya. Alacron, baby. Oh <laughs> shit! Now, up until today, I've um, I've only got one Fenya knife in my collection. I think for the most part, I don't think I've even had any other uh, Fenyas on the channel. Oh, wait a minute, I did have the um, the uh, the Fenya Bravo or something like that, which was a smaller knife. Uh, but this one has really impressed me, people. Uh, these coming in at about two hundred ninety-eight dollars, so essentially three hundred. I think as of the filming of this video, I really couldn't find any in stock. I didn't really look that hard. I, I did find out that Knife Center has these knives available for pre-order. Uh, now, this Alacron is actually coming from Fenya's X series, uh, which is just designs that are actually made and marketed by Fenya, but are um, actually manufactured by a third party. Uh, with this one right here, these are actually manufactured by Riot. We've got a couple of forms of deployment. We've got a nice set of tits as well as uh, his legendary front flipper. Perfect, perfect type of jimping they use here on the front flippers. They do go just over the top of it, um, and I think that's plenty. Now let's check it out. Woo! Detent is dialed the fuck in. Now there are several different um, variants to choose from. This one here has the frost uh, fat carbon overlay. Now they call it an inlay, but... Um, that is an overlay, people. It is standing proud from the scale. So uh, I will refer to that as an overlay. Uh, we've got 8.0 inches as far as overall length. So definitely a full-size knife. Uh, this is actually a uh, collaboration between Mr. Uh, Javi from Garcia Knives and Benya Knives himself. And I tell you, they, uh, they are cooking with grease here. Uh, we've got 3.5 inches in this wonderful clip point blade. Love Riat's uh, belt satin finish. M390 is the steel. We've got the Benya branding here on the show side of the knife right there. And then on the uh, clip side, we've got the Harvey uh, or the, the Javi Garcia initials as well as the M390. Uh, now we do have a titanium frame lock, plenty of room for your disengagement. As a matter of fact, um, this is done this is done well. you know they did a nice little chamfer there on the actual lock bar. My only other Benya which is my Mula 1776, don't you forget, goddammit, uh, has, you know, 
does not have that same uh that same quality when it comes to uh lock bar access now we're sitting at about 25 30 percent on lockup good job on our edge termination with the plunge grind so you do have some sharpening life uh ergonomically fits in the hand just good or rather fits in the hand very nicely no hot spots to speak of we've got plenty of real estate uh we've got a blind screw mounted pocket clip uh, pocket clip clears out, clears uh, your uh, lock bar relief substantially, so no issues there. Buttery goddamn smooth. This is riding on cage ceramic bearings. I tell you, people, Riyak can make a goddamn knife, uh, and Benya can damn sure de design them. Uh, weight on this comes in at 4.6 ounces, so um, you know, lightweight carry as far as I can, as far as I'm concerned, considering the size. Now, if you follow Mr. Benya, you know that you know he started making knives way back in 2006. Uh, initially, he was all about traditional uh, designs. Uh, at some point, he transitioned to uh, these more tactical designs, but he's done such a good job with the transition that I think, uh, at least you know, according to me, I think he should damn sure stay, uh, stay making these uh, tactical knives. Uh, now, let's go ahead and put some knives up for some size comparison. Basically, a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. Gotta roll with America first. We're gonna roll like this. Spyderco Shaman, Blade Ops exclusive. Then we're gonna go with that aforementioned uh, Benya in my collection. We're talking about the Sons of Liberty rendition, 1776. Don't you forget, goddammit. So here we see the Alacron up against those. Let's do a couple more, shall we? Trying to keep that front flipper thumb, st thumb stud vibe going. We're gonna go with this one. The Kubi Momentum Premium Rendition. I know I've said it a few times recently, people, but that is quite possibly the best knife out right now for the price. Uh, yeah, I said it. Then we're going to go with a Chavez, which kind of gives me similar vibes, uh, essentially, to some of Benya's designs. Uh, they just seem like overbuilt knives. Uh, that is, of course, the Street. So here we see the Alacron up against those. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. How about this one? Another great pickup this year for me, and that is going to be the Wii Roxy 3. And last, another recent acquisition. We're talking about that Vosteed Psyop. So here we see the Alacran up against those. I like this Alacran, people. I really do, you know? Uh, I was kind of having issues as far as having some motivation for the upcoming Blade Show as to what I wanted to get. I might just go snag me a Benya, you know? Maybe they have a uh, Blade Show exclusive of some kind. They may even have some new designs. I don't know. I just, um, I seem to be without focus this year round. But that's okay. We're going to have a good goddamn time regardless. And a uh, big thank you to The Hammer for sending this hoe down my way. Because she's a looker. I'm digging it, digging it, digging it. But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Are you digging this design? How about bend your knives? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers.